Welcome back everybody. My name is Shane Eikenberry and you're watching another episode of I Can Barbecue. Sorry about the long absence there. I had my parents 48th anniversary cooked for that. That was an awesome time. Uh, as you guys know, uh, I don't know if you can see this in the camera right now. I'm a long time Bucks fan. Bucks went to the Super Bowl. It was here in Tampa. I live in Florida. I'm about an hour north of Tampa. We actually got to go to the Super Bowl. That was an awesome experience. But now I'm back. I'm ready to cook. We got a first uh, for this channel. We're going to be doing some breakfast today. It's a big hearty breakfast. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this one. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gents. The ingredients are pretty simple and straightforward for this one. You can kind of make it your own, uh, but you need to start with some thick cut bacon. We're going to line the pan with it. I may have, I just pulled some bacon out. I really don't know if this is going to be enough. I have more. Maybe we can fit one more. Okay, so I learned a valuable lesson doing this one time. Uh, I tried to use an entire pack of bacon, and I doubled it up, like cross-weaved it, and cooked it that way, and it actually didn't come out as good, which doesn't make sense. You'd think, like, the more bacon, the better. Uh, that was not the case. <laughs> um, it didn't cook the the layered bacon correctly, and it came out kind of chewy. Eh, not my thing. All right. Next step, got some pre-chopped onions. Shout out to whoever chops these. You guys are the man, men, women. You guys are whatever you are. I got you. No rhyme or reason to really any of this. We just kind of want to get it thrown together. This one's a simple one you can make while camping. Comes out pretty awesome. Get some potatoes in here. Uh, these are little baby reds. Love to use these, they're small enough, they cook pretty easy. You just want to cut them down uh, to a decent size. Um, that way there's no uneven cooking. And then I have some Koneka sausage here. Uh, you can find this in most grocery stores, I think everywhere. I'm a Florida guy, it's easy to find here. I don't know if you guys will have be able to find it or not. Um, anyway, uh, another really good sausage is uh, just like a beef kielbasa. That'll do really well with this. Mix it in, a lot of pork. A lot of meat, a lot of protein with this one. Right now I'm just gonna add a little bit of this Cajun's Choice Creole seasoning. Uh, this is just my choice, we really like this flavor. Uh, but you can add whatever you like, whatever you want on here, go for it. There we go. And just a tad bit of salt because that seasoning does have some salt in it. And so does just about everything else in there but it really helps with this flavor, it makes it pop. And these aren't the only ingredients, we're gonna be throwing some more in as we cook. All right, some pepper, just because everything should have pepper, you can't go wrong there. Boom, boom, what am I, I feel like a not top chef, I don't know. Anyway, all right, so that's the start. We're gonna get this out. I'm using the Weber kettle today, but we're actually just gonna be cooking with coals. We're not gonna actually cook this on the grill. Well, I guess technically we are. I sound dumb. Anyway, we're gonna get this out there. I'll show you what I mean by cooking with coals. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gents, I'm gonna show you how we get the charcoal started. Today, we're gonna be using some briquettes. I got the fire starter. I'm gonna go ahead and flip that upside down. Get this little thing lit inside there. I like these first just because it's hard to get from underneath. But anyway, these things suck. Don't buy them. I, whoop, whoop. Anyway, these things suck. Don't buy them. I've shown them in my other videos. Not really happy with them. But go ahead and get that lit. We got some wind going here. Burn your fingers. There we go. There we go. Say about 20 pieces should do you. Nobody has to do it like this. I'm doing it the most difficult way uh, possible. Actually, you guys are probably only here in this bag right now. I didn't even plan for that. Kind of what it looks like right there, a little volcano or something. About 20 coals or so. That'll be enough for this cook. Gonna let that catch, and I will get back to you guys. Stay tuned. Peace. All right, now that the coals are good and hot, we're just gonna dump them to one side of the grate, almost similar to offset cooking. Not very many there. Gonna grab a few. Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan or cover the bottom of the pan. There we go. We're gonna take the pan, lay it right on top of the coals, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and drop the lid on. Use the tongs, grab a couple more. Lay these bad boys right on top. Usually do about six, but you can probably do as many as you can fit. Won't hurt. Okay, now we're just gonna let her cook like this for about 30 minutes. All right, ladies and gents, it's been about 30 minutes. I added some coals there, as you can see, and I also have got some more coals going for the second part of this cook. 
but we're gonna get a look at her see how she's doing see if she's ready for some more stuff try not to get all the dust in the world in there She's looking real good. I hope that's in focus for you guys. Get you up there. I don't know if you can hear that thing sizzling, but yeah, she's looking real good. Okay, I'll show you guys the next step. Give me one second. All right, gonna go ahead and throw in about 12 eggs. I scrambled them up, just add a little salt and pepper. And this is a 12 inch cast iron. I probably should have led with that, just in case you guys are wondering about the, the size here. Gonna add about a half pound of cheese. I sprinkle the cheese rather than dump, just because I want an uneven spread. You might have got that, but over splain, you know? It's also nighttime. This is gonna be breakfast for dinner, which is like one of my favorite things. Just gonna add a little bit of the Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. Uh, this will just be for color. You'll see what I mean when it's done. Oh, got a little crazy. Got a little crazy on that one. Like I said, I do have some coals going on my Weber right now. Well, my other Weber right now. Can't see that one. This actually might do it for this one, but I wanted to be safe, so I got some more going on there. All right, gonna let her cook for about, uh, we'll say, we'll say 25, 30 minutes, somewhere in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. As you can see, I did add some fresh charcoal here. Whoa. Went ahead and gave it about 30 minutes. Gonna get a look at it. Knock all this stuff down. You can always go back if it's not ready. Just add them back to it. I can tell though, it's kind of boiling over the edges here, so I'm pretty sure we're good. All right, that's probably really loud and annoying for you guys. Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> How freaking awesome does that look? Oh, I shouldn't have set that. Well, I don't care. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh, looks awesome. The eggs, the cheese forms a nice little crust there. It's going to be some good stuff, guys. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get this off here. I'm actually going to leave the lid off. That way it'll cool this cast iron stays hot for a really long time. So I'm going to go ahead and get this off now. Get it inside, let it rest, then we're gonna cut into it, show you guys what it's all about. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gents, I've let this thing cool for about as long as I can take. I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece now, see how it came out. Oh my God, let's see. I guess do it like a pie, yeah? There we go. Can you see, let's see, about right there looks freaking amazing i might have to give you a close-up on this that's gonna be too small of a piece for me actually but for the camera that'll do all right gonna get you a close-up on just that i'm gonna move this out of the way and show you kind of how i do this up and uh yeah okay i'm talking a lot here we go all right got a little garlic sriracha here mixed it with a little bit of ketchup gonna get that on there there we go and then some green onion and that'll do that's how we're gonna eat it all right gonna move you guys back for the taste test all right ladies and gentlemen my favorite time of the video the taste test uh, I don't even know where to start we'll go right here off the front so what I love about this is that bacon almost creates like a crust almost like a pie crust stuff is incredible then you got that sriracha it's gonna be some good stuff all right here we go absolutely killer it is so freaking good you do this whip this up while you're camping it's gonna be a hit I'm telling you this stuff is incredible sorry I have to second bite this bad boy <laughs> potatoes are perfect everything is just awesome all right so let's talk about what we did this is a really simple cook we had that 12 inch cast iron pan Line the bottom with some thick cut bacon. I do prefer a thick cut on this one, the thin one. Uh, thin gets a little too crisp, but uh, almost kind of dissolves in there, but the thick cut creates a nice like uh, pie crust actually. Um, then you want to get some 
favorite sausage. We use Kaneka, you guys can use beef kielbasa, whatever your favorite sausage is. Go ahead and throw that in there. Chop up some uh, baby red potatoes. Um, you want them small enough that they'll cook evenly and you want them evenly cut as well. Toss them in. Some chopped onion, you can buy the store-bought chopped stuff, which is what I prefer because I hate cutting onions myself. Or just dice up an onion, throw it in there. Then you want to get it out on the pit. I use briquettes for this cook. I prefer that over the lump coal. I feel like it holds heat a little longer um, and they're easier to spread out. The, the pieces are more uniform. Make a little circle there on the bottom, just enough to cover the bottom of that pan. Get the pan on it, close the lid, cover that lid, six, seven pieces, ten, however many, many, however many you can fit on there. Then you want to let that go for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, you can mix up some eggs. We used about a dozen eggs actually for this cook. Uh, it's it's going to feed us probably three or four times. Um, get some eggs in there, uh, about a half pound of cheese. Shred that up. Please shred your own cheese and don't use the store-bought stuff. That stuff's like cardboard. If you shred your own, you actually get a lot of that flavor and it's it's really good. It makes a big difference. Then you want to get the top lifted on that, pour the eggs in, add that cheese to it. I sprinkle a little of that uh, Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub on, rub on the top. That's just for color, not for flavor. You could use paprika if you'd like or just go without it. No big deal at all. It just provides a really nice color that I like. While that cooks, I'm heating up another basket of charcoal. I'm going to pour that on just to help speed that cook process up. By then, the charcoal is really starting to die out after about 50 minutes, somewhere in there. So. Finish it off, pour a little bit more of that, uh, that fresh charcoal on there, that'll complete the cook. And then you get it in here, plate it up. I use this uh, sriracha, ketchup, and garlic. Comes out pretty good. It's about a 50-50 mix of sriracha and ketchup, and then about a teaspoon of garlic. Just shake that up, pour it on there. It's good stuff, and the green onion really sets it off. This is an excellent cook, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Peace. Peace.